Ladies and gentlemen, another week, another MP, another controversial statement. Listen to this. Namuangalia namna hii. Ati hapa Kiambu shule za upili ambazo zinafundisha watoto wametoka county zingine sitaki kutaja majina. Wanatoka huko wanakuja kuzomea hapa kwa sababu kuna kuta system. Na kwao hata wakipata hii pesa tunapata ya CDF hawajengi mashule, hawajengi madarasa kwa sababu watajenga kwa nini na wanajua watoto wao watawapeleka Kiambu kuja wasomee hapa. Sisi bazar yetu inakuwa strained sisi ndo tunajenga madarasa hapa. Sisi bazar yetu inakuwa strained kwa sababu tuko na watoto wengi. Sisi bazar yetu inakuwa strained kwa sababu watoto wetu wanapata pesa kidogo. Wale kazi yao ni kujenga majumba kubwa huko na huku isili na kwingine. Sisi hiyo maneno tumekataa. And there must be parity in distribution of the national resources. If there is no parity in distribution of national resources, there cannot be parity in distribution of votes. So, sisi tukirudi pale bunge, tunasema watu wasome kwao. So hear me out. Whilst he may have been rather inelegant with his words, there is a much bigger issue here. You see, long before he spoke those words came the original sin. The government committed the original sin of unequal distribution of development. You see, the schools we see today, Mangu, Alliance, Kenya High, Lenana School, all owe their preeminence today to the proximity to the railway line. The honorable member should know that Mangu found itself where it was because the Holy Ghost fathers alighted from the railway line across the road and also because they needed it to be very close to their headquarters at St. Austin. It is because of the railway line that the Holy Ghost fathers picked Mangu over, say, Morogashe. It is the same reason that the Church of Scotland missionaries picked Thogoto over, say, Loyangalani. All the prestigious schools I have listed at the start are not considered national schools because the locals made them nationals. It is because the colonial administration and subsequent government invested in those institutions as premium learning centers. They invested money, facilities, and human resources in terms of the best teachers. And they did so generously, from classrooms to the fields. And that is why Lenana would produce the best rugby players compared to, say, Olonana School in Narok. So for the Honorable Member of Parliament for Gatundu South, let me address you in parliamentary terms. Point of information, Mwashimiwa. Point of information. The schools you are bragging about, the schools which you speak of as some exclusive local heritage, are actually a combination of historical colonial fortunes, geographic accidents, and even potential historical injustices. As a result, they are national schools that in accordance with the name national, remain national, which means they are a resource for the benefit of all qualified, brilliant minds within the national boundaries of our country. I'm sure you've heard of the legendary Harvard University in the US. Point of information, Washimiwa. It is located in Massachusetts, one of the smallest states in America but it has cut its name as one of the country's greatest institutions of higher learning. And no one has tried to reduce it to a small exclusive facility just to excite local passions. Mangu, Alliance, and other great schools located along the Uganda Railway should similarly not be reduced to small objects of constituency banter. Mashimiwa, 